Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. The First Lady wrapping up a visit to Green Bay tonight. As we first showed you today at four, she took part in a roundtable discussion at the Rail Yard Innovation District downtown. Our team coverage of Dr. Joe Biden's visit begins with Emily Riley, who joins us live from the airport where the First Lady touched down late this afternoon. Emily. Cami and Bill, not too long ago, the tarmac here was filled with motorcade vehicles ready to take the first lady to downtown Green Bay. Community and state leaders were right outside the plane to welcome her to the area. That included Governor Tony Evers, First Lady of Wisconsin, Kathy Evers, Brown County Executive Troy Streckenbach, and Oneida Nation Chairman Tahasi Hill. The First Lady's last visit to Wisconsin was in October, where she traveled to our area to visit the Menominee Indian Tribe and highlight the importance of cancer screenings and early detection. President Biden visited Wisconsin just three weeks ago, highlighting the administration's focus on the state as a very important piece in the upcoming election. For details about the First Lady's visit to downtown Green Bay, Jason Zimmerman joins us live at the Rail Yard District. Jason. Yeah, Emily, this event just wrapping up a short time ago. The First Lady spoke to a small crowd prior to the round table here at the X Innovation Center. And we also heard from the uh, U.S. Sec Education Secretary and also Governor Tony Evers. The focus of this visit was entirely on education and uh, connecting high school and college students with real workforce experience to highlight the success of some of these training programs in Wisconsin. The discussion included members of the Michigan and Preble High School plus Oneida Tribe. They shared experiences with the uh, First Lady, including apprenticeship opportunities that have provided guidance in seeking out a career. Biden has also been visiting cities all across the country over the past few months promoting her husband's education initiatives. Here's a sample of what she said today about the importance of learning through untraditional methods. It looks like classrooms that aren't only traditional spaces with desks, but that are kitchens where students can learn uh, culinary skills, greenhouses where students learn how to grow vegetables and plants, metal shops and fabrication labs where students learn how to build things. And the First Lady also shared some of her own experiences uh, being a teacher and also asked uh, questions to many of the high school st seniors sitting on today's roundtable discussion. Reporting live in Green Bay, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News. Jason, thanks. Covering both sides, leaders with Wisconsin's Republican Party held a conference call ahead of the First Lady's arrival. They criticized both the Biden administration and the Evers administration about their handling of education, the workforce, and the economy. Party Chairman Brian Schimming denouncing an apparent focus on DEI spending while saying 75% of Wisconsin business owners feel the K-12 through educational system is failing them. Schimming says these policies will hurt Democrats in this year's election. The First Lady is here in Wisconsin defending a second class administration. That's what this gets to. They have failed Wisconsin workers. They have failed Wisconsin students. And um, really for all of their political talk in an election year, uh, they know they're on the defensive here and across the country for a good reason. And our team coverage of the First Lady's visit and the GOP response continues tonight on Action 2 News at 6.